In this video, we're going to take a look at angles in a polygon. So previously, we looked at just triangles, which is a three-sided figure, and we saw that all the angles in the triangle add to 180 degrees. Well, what about if we had a four-sided figure? So this was three sides. Three sides was 180 degrees. What if we had a four-sided figure? Now, any four-sided figures we call a quadrilateral. Um, so here we have a quadrilateral, a four-sided figure. We have to figure out what all the angles in a quadrilateral add to. Well, turns out what we could do is we could draw a line, a straight line down here. I'll pretend that thing's straight. A line down here, and, and really what have we got? We've got a triangle here. And we've got a triangle here. So we know that all of these angles in this triangle, these three angles here, if we added those to all of these angles here, then essentially we would be adding up all the angles in the quadrilateral. And since we, since we know that these angles would add to 180 degrees, and these angles in this triangle would add to 180 degrees, then it makes sense that the angles in a four-sided figure Oops. would add to 180 plus 180, which is 360 degrees. So three sides really just makes one triangle. That's 180 degrees. Four sides essentially makes two triangles. So that must be 360. Let's see if our pattern continues here. Let's draw a five-sided figure. So this would be five sides. This particular one here I have as a pentagon. Five sides here. So how many triangles can we make out of here? Well, here's one on the top. So there's 180 degrees representing all these angles. And then if we did this, here's another triangle. So there's 180 degrees. And there's 180 degrees. So the angles in a five-sided figure, five-sided polygon, my, oops. If we've got five sides, the angles must add to 180 plus another 180 plus another 180, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 40, 540 degrees. So I think you can kind of see a pattern here. Three sides, 180. Four sides is 360, 180 plus 180. Five sides would be 180 plus 180 plus 180. If we did six sides, a six-sided figure, that should be 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus another 180. So five sides, you're going to add three 180s. Six sides, looks like we're adding four 180s. So seven sides must be that we would add 5 times 180 degrees. And so it seems like if we know the number of sides that we have in our polygon, then the sum of all the angles in it must be 2 less. So 7 sides, 5 times 180. So if I had 25 sides, just saying, certainly not going to try drawing that, but if I wanted to know what all the angles in that thing added up are, that should be 23 times 180 degrees. So we can make a summary of how to find the sum of all the angles in any polygon. So the sum of the angles in a convex polygon. Now what we, do we mean by convex? We mean that when you're drawing your polygon, you have to kind of keep turning right as you draw your polygon. Or another way of writing, saying this is all the angles in here have to be less than 180 degrees. So we can't do our polygon like this. I'm going to go this way, this way. Then I'm going to go back this way over here, down here, up here. Okay, that's a polygon, but it's not called a convex one. 
So they've got to, you've got to kind of keep going in the same direction, gradually turning to the right as you go around your polygon. Those are the ones we're working with. So basically the sum of the angles in a polygon with n sides, you can find that by going 180 times n minus 2. So the number of sides minus 2 times 180. And that's what we did here. You got 25 sides, take the number of sides minus 2, which is 23, and multiply that by 180. 7 sides, subtract 2 from the number of sides, which is 5, multiply that by 180. So looking at this situation, if all the angles in a polygon are the same, we call that a regular polygon. So what that means is, well, all the angles are the same. So a simple one would be this, where all the angles are the same. They're all the same there. Then if you want to find out what each of these angles are, then we can take the sum of all the angles inside and simply divide by how many sides we've got. So we know that in this situation, this is a four-sided figure, so that would be 180 times 4 minus 2 divided by the number of sides that we have, which is 4. So 4 minus 2 is 2 in the bracket here. 2 times 180 is 360. Again, we know that all the angles in a four-sided figure, a quadrilateral, add to 360. Then if each of these angles are the same, we'll simply divide that by 4 to find out that each angle in the quadrilateral would be 90 degrees. And if we had a five-sided figure, I don't know if I can draw this too well. Oh, sorry, I guess we're doing a six-sided figure. If we had a six-sided figure, then if I wanted to know what each of these angles were here, because they're all the same, this, this is a regular polygon, then I would go 180, 6 minus 2 divided by 4, sorry, 6 minus 2 divided by 6, then that would be 180, 6 minus 4, 6 minus 2 is 4, so essentially what I'm finding up here is the sum of all these angles in here, 180 times 4, which is 720. And then we're going to take 720 and divide by the six angles that make up this uh, six-sided figure. That would be 120 degrees. So each of these angles in this six-sided figure would be 120 degrees. Now let's look at a couple of examples here. Let's find the sum of all the angles that make up this shape here. So the first thing I need to do is count the number of sides. One, two, three, four, five. This is a five-sided figure. So the sum will equal 180. And I need to multiply that by simply two less than the number of sides. So 180 times 3, which is 540 degrees. So 540 degrees would be the sum of each of these angles making up this five-sided polynomial. Let's try and find angle A, B, C, and D in this question. So we have a rel uh, regular polygon because these tick marks imply that all of these sides are the same length. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It looks like there are 9 sides here. So if I'm going to start by finding A, let's find the sum of each of the angles. So remember that's 180 times n minus 2. So we had 9 sides. So that means we're going to take 180 and multiply it by 7. 180 times 7. So 1260 would be the sum of all of these angles in here. So each one then is going to be 1,260 divided by 9, because we have 9 angles. So 
So each angle will be 140 degrees. So that means I now know that each one of these angles inside this nine-sided shape is 140 degrees. Well, let's see. I can't find D because I only know that this whole arc in here is 140. Um, and that means I also can't find C. I can't get B because that's 140, but hold on here. Check this triangle out here. This triangle right here, I know that this angle is 140 degrees because that's the same as all these other big ones on this big nine-sided polygon. And then this would be an isosceles triangle. And remember, if the two sides are the same, the base angles are the same. So if I go 180 subtract 140, then I know that these remaining two angles must add to 40 degrees because all the angles in a triangle add to 180. And so then each one, 40 divided by 2, is 20 degrees. So I know that that's 20, and I know that angle B is 20 degrees. So now I've found angle B. All right. Can that help me find angle C? No. But we these are parallel parallel lines here. So again, if I have this angle now that's 20, I know that this angle must be 120 because remember all the angles, each of the angles in this nine-sided shape is 140. So if this is 20, then this must be 120 because this is one of those inside angles of our big polygon. So I know this is 120. And if this is 120, then these are interior angles on the same side of a transversal. So here's a parallel line, here's a parallel line, here's a line that cuts across it. So these angles here, are sometimes we call this the C rule, uh, these two angles must add to 180, they're supplementary. So now I know that C would be 60 degrees, because 120 plus 60 is 180. And now finally I should be able to get D, because I have two out of the three pieces here that are making up this another big angle of 140. So if I go 140 and I subtract 20 and I subtract 60, then this is going to get me D. And so that would be 60 degrees. 140 minus 20 is 120. 120 minus 60 is 60. So D now is 60 degrees. So yes, these three add to 140. These two add to 140. This is an isosceles triangle. The base angles are the same, and there's another interior angle of 140. And each one of these would be 140 around here as well. So that's how we can use uh, the sums of angles in polygons to work through some problems.